Okay, so we're going to be using the Badlands 2000 winch as our power source for this electric jack on our gooseneck trailer. Step one is we're going to take these two bolts out. And then we're going to remove this whole plate. Next, we'll remove these two nuts where we can remove this guide and pull the whole spool off. All right, once you get those out, take the guide off. And then next, you'll need to take this off. Just lock it into position and turn it lefty-loosey by hand. Once that's off, you should be able to just pull it right out. On to our next step. Next up, screw your red handle back on. Put it back in free spool mode, and we'll need to get this roll pin out so that the whole shaft can slide out of this. All right, once you get the roll pin out of there, you can pull this whole assembly out, set it to the side. You'll take your spool, you'll cut off one side of it. Make sure you leave the gear side. You want to cut off the other side. Drill a hole in it, and then take the spring and the gear off. Put the spring in there, put the gear in there. Now you're ready for the next step. So I've made the bracket that the winch is going to sit on. Used a piece of three inch flat stock I had laying around and a piece of two and a half inch flat stock that I had as the gusset, tacked them on, and now we will test fit the winch. So I used a Sharpie, brought the hole around to the edge, set it on here, moved it to the metal, transferred my line, drilled my holes, bolted that in place, set my coupling beside it, marked where the holes needed to be, drilled them, now I'll slide it on and bolt it up. There's still a lot of finishing up to do, but this is virtually it. The battery will be mounted under here, will be hooked to the uh, trailer wiring where it can charge going down the road. Um, I still got to run the cross shaft, but anyways, got the jack. slow but it doesn't.